Shall we begin this uh, this morning, this evening, um, wherever you are? Um, greetings and welcome. Um, happy morning to far from uh, from Montreal, I guess. And we have uh, people from everywhere around the world here. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we have a wonderful speaker today, uh, Father Herody. Um, yeah, I've, I've known Father Herody, Herody for quite some time. Uh, such a very uh, young, energetic and knowledgeable person. Okay, uh, Father Herody, as we know that he is um, none other than belonging to the uh, uh, province of Indonesia of the Monfishan Fathers. Yeah? Um, his journey in the uh, religious life began way, way back in... Uh, 2001. So you can count how many years already now he is uh, as a religious, yeah, from the time that he entered novitiate. Now he went through a series of studies until he was ordained priest. Uh, okay, now ordained priest, uh, okay, to, to uh, 2012, ordained priest, yeah, and he went. He went to further his studies again and held uh, various uh, um, positions, yeah, including the provincial secretary for the province of uh, Indonesia of the SMM. And then of the recent time, he did his Master of Arts in Theology, majoring in spirituality yeah, recently in the Philippines. So uh, currently he is serving as novice master um, we had a privilege to have uh, Father Eddie with us, with the, the brothers in Malaysia, Singapore, and Philippines for our annual retreat last year. And it was amazing. I must say amazing, the input that he uh, gave us. And I thought it was the first time that I attended an annual retreat that I was not sleepy at all. So I was very attentive um, listening to him. So thank you for that, uh, Eddie. Okay, Thank so without further ado, um, I give this time for Father Eddie to give us his sharing. Over to you, Father Eddie. Okay. Good evening, everybody from Indonesia. And thank you, Father Brother Thomas, for leading us. Do you see my PowerPoint there? Yes, yes we can see it, Father okay, Eddie. Okay. But don't forget okay. to say the, the opening prayer, Brother Thomas. Yeah. yeah, The opening prayer by Yayan. Hmm. Brother Thomas, you are on mute. Okay. So I'm sorry for that. I was too eager to welcome Father Eddie. Uh, before we have uh, the presentation from Father Eddie, Eddie, um, I invite the, uh, uh, I think uh, our sister Yen from the member of the uh, Mary Queen, uh, uh, Queen of All Hearts, yeah? Uh, so uh, may I invite uh, Sister Yen to lead us in prayer. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Thomas. Dear Father, brothers and sisters, let us pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all your blessing, especially today, for allowing us to gather here as in this Montfortian family monthly meeting. We come to you today asking for your guidance, wisdom, and support as we begin this meeting. May you extend your divine wisdom to our speaker, Father Heredi Suhartono, as he delivers and shares his knowledge on Monfortian friendship spirituality. Bless us, the participants, as well. Help us to engage in meaningful discussion Allow us to grow through friendship as Monfortian family. And may you continue to remind us 
that all that we do here today is for the pursuit of truth, for the greater glory of you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, now, is now, and ever and shall be, world, world without end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sister. Um, okay. Then we're back to Father Eddie again. So here we are. Okay, thank you again. Thank you, Brother Thomas. Thank you again. My brothers and sisters, the theme of my presentation today is more person spirituality of friendship. There are three steps that I going to deliver to you in terms of this term. In the first step, we will discuss about experience. And the second step, we will reflect on this or those in those experience. And then from this reflection, we will uh, discuss about some responses. We begin from the first one, experience. The theme of friendship can be discussed in many ways. And from Christian perspective, Friendship has two dimension. Vertical dimension, it tells about our relationship with God. And horizontal dimension, it tells about our relationship with others. When we put friendship in the universal community, it tells about friendship between and among human persons. But when we put friendship in the Christian community, it tells about our relationship among people of God. But when we put friendship in the religious community, we can say we experience friendship also. But what makes this community different from other friendship is God's involvement. So from this, or this is where Say so Montfort's charism and spirituality shine. The question for us is like this Does Montfort write about friendship spirituality? We can say no if we compare with Montfort's writing with Alfred of Rifo, who writes about spiritual friendship. But we can say yes. When we refer to what Montfort talks about friendship in his writing. On this grounding, we are talking about St. Montfort Francis spirituality. Montfort has his own way to understand friendship in the community life and also in missionary life. And by embracing and radically live it out in his entire life. St. Montfort is considered as a genuine teacher on the matter of friendship. And you can see in the writing of Corinthian Labor, the title is Friendship in Jesus Living in Mary. The question for us is why we have to talk about friendship spirituality of St. Montfort. I present you some reasons. First, we experience in our society that we live and relate with many people who come from different backgrounds, languages, cultures, religions, tribes, it is. The same reality we also face in our church. The member, we experience that the members of uh, the Catholic church today, they come from different backgrounds. Why it happens? It happens due to vocation or profession or immigration and so on. The same reality we also experience in our consecrated life. I quote there, consecrated life embraces pluralism and diversity now more than in other times 
and consecrated life is born to be diverse in its members and in the charism that the Spirit gives it. And now, in our Mofersen families, we also experience the same thing. We come from different backgrounds, culture, languages, tribes, etc. So it is understandable that the friendship among us, especially among Mofersen families, is filled with a large number of challenges. Today, I give you two examples. The first example is tells us about friendship among Indonesia. The second example, it tells about friendship among Indonesian Mofosa. Friendship among Indonesia, meaning how as Indonesian we experience friendship among us. At least in my observation, in my simple research, there are three elements that form friendship among Indonesia. First element is this, a sense of nationalism. I find out in the youth place, it says that we acknowledge one motherland, Indonesia. We acknowledge one nation, Indonesia. We respect the language of unity, Indonesian language. The second element is respect for indigenous, indigenous and local culture. In simple way, we can say friendship across cultures. We, I find out it in, a, in our national motto, it says, Bineka Tunggalika, which means unity in diversity. And the third element is for respect for religion, or in simple way, we can say tolerance in religious diversity. In Indonesian constitution, it says, every individual can choose and practice their faith freely. But my brothers and sisters, even we have some elements how to form friendship among Indonesia, still we experience some conflicts among us. Because of what? Because of ethnocentric sensitivity, because of different tradition, because of economic, because of poverty, because some people, they use religion as a means for power. How we prove this? These realities are proved at least by two, first KBI or Bishop Conference of Indonesia or PGE is um, Indonesian Community Churches. In during Christmas message 2019, they say, be a friend to anybody. And also it can be proved through the message of President Indonesia, Joko Widodo to Catholic Youth 2018. He says, Catholic youth should become a generation that brings collaboration and friendship. So it is what we experience as Indonesian. So now we move how Mongfors and Indonesia experience friendship among us. We have some challenges, at intra challenges or at extra challenges. At extra challenges, we are challenged to build friendship beyond differences. Second, we are challenged to show solidarity with others. And the third one, we are challenged to accompany each other. And in terms of add extra challenges, we are challenged to unite in diverse culture. Second, we are challenged to live in harmony within social political sphere. And we are challenged to establish a community of interreligious friends. Despite of these challenges, we face all some problems, and I find, find out at least five challenges or six challenges. Assume togetherness in community life, dominance of personal interest, competition in doing mission, difficulties to accept others' preferences, failure to accept, examine oneself as more for some. The question is why it happened? At least in my simple reflection, I find out that there are two reasons. First, shallow, under, shallow understanding and mixing of friendship. The second one is lack of appreciation of the friendship spirituality of Singapore. Seemingly, Father Luis Augusto Stefani, in his circular letter, knows well, now knows well this situation. 
That is why in his secular letter 2017, he said, we are called to build a universal brotherhood. And in 2019, he says, we are called to transcend prejudices of all kinds. So my brothers and sisters, this, it is our experience, especially for us in Indonesia and for us as more portion Indonesia or Indonesia more important. Facing those experience, we try to reflect based on the spirituality of Seng Mopo. So now we move to second step in this presentation, reflection. So we know this experience, our experience, different religion, different languages, culture, tribes, and we have problems, we have a large number of challenges, we have conflict. So now we reflect on this. And the, the question for our, this reflection is, what is the friendship spirituality among four that is able, that is able facilitates the friendship among Moposa and the people we serve? In my research, when Mongfor talks about friendship, actually he starts with wisdom as self-giving of God. For self-giving of God in creation, Mongfor said, he creates, then he loves and cares like a mother does for her child. The self-giving of God in incarnation, he says, Christ's wisdom leaves the comfort zone in Father's bosom to share life of his father. And this self-giving of God in Jesus' ministry, Mongfor says, he embraces and blesses people with gentleness and kindness. And self-giving of God in Paschal Mystery, Mofor says he suffers in body and soul in order to save and to give life for others. So here, my brothers and sisters, the self-giving of God's wisdom then is understood by Saint Mofor as an expression wisdom beside for friendship with human being. So here, Mofor moves his understanding from wisdom to friendship. In simple way, we, we say, when we see wisdom, we see friendship. But the question, what is friendship according to Samuel 4? And me, in my re reflection on my simple reason, at least I find out five definitions in the writing of Samuel 4 about friendship. First, friendship is seen as encounter. The second one, friendship is seen as a call to relationship. Third one, friendship is seen as the way to towards loving God. Four, friendship is seen as the way to towards living out fraternity. And the last one, friendship is seen as a giving and sharing divine life. Let us talk these things one by one. Friendship is seen as a counter. What I mean friendship is seen as a counter is a counter between human being and God by reflecting on God's creation. You can see in the love of eternal wisdom, number 31. And God is an initiator and animator of this Akanta. By reflecting on reincarnation, you can see in the writing of Mofor, love of eternal wisdom, number 47. Mofor says, the deepest and the ultimate reason for incarnation is the love of friendship. He says with what Dennis Turner says, that originating gift of friendship, of course, is the incarnation. Because God is initiator and animator of this encounter, we can say this encounter is gift. But my brothers and sisters, God itself also leads a human being to encounter him in others. Because according to Montfort, the human being is Jesus' intimate friends. So consequently, it is a gift as well for a human beings to encounter each other. It is not their initiative to encounter each other, but God's. When we become a more person uh, families, it is not us to be with each other, but it is God who takes initiative and animate our encounter in the more families. So you can see the small diagram I make there, God, others, me, is a gift. Second definition of friendship is seen as a call to relationship. 
every encounter is always is an invitation to enter into relationship with God and others. That is why Montfort says, wisdom of God enters into holy people to make them prophets and friends of God. And those who are called to into his friendship are loved by him as a friend. Mofor says he loves men as a friend. And for Mofor, this relationship is so deep as it, it is revealed in St. Mofor's right statement, wisdom is for men, man is for wisdom. So as Jesus exists for human, like best human beings should also exist for other men. So, in the writing of Montfort, based on my research, being human means being in friendship with God and others. And the same idea, I find out it in the writing of, of uh, Carter Gironi. He says, true friendship always draws us to reach out to others. The third definition, friendship is seen as the way towards knowing God. So it is from friendship or a relationship, people can recognize God as a friend. They will know who God is a friend through their friendship. And for Montfort, God is a friend who his side also suffered because of the tears of grief for his friend. He also said, God is a friend who leads people to be friend of God. So actually, our friendship mirrors in the friendship of God itself. The fourth definition, friendship is seen as the way towards living of fraternity. Uh, knowing God as a friend and others as a God's friend lead people to living out fraternity. What makes me surprising when we, I find out in the writing of Mount 4, and I find out that According to Montfort, in his writing, there is no contradiction between friendship and fraternal life or agape. Is his him? He says, "You must love your friends, and nothing is easier in practice. But love also all your enemies. This is the most heroic act." In the same hymn, he says, "Love your enemy as your friend." So let us see here. In the same hymn, he said, love your friend. And then he said, love your enemy. So, Montfort mentioned first, love your friend, then love your enemy. So, it implies that agape actually is an extension of friendship. And the same idea, I find out in the writing of Paul J. Vardell, he says, Agape is a kind of friendship extended to the world, to those whom Jesus called our neighbors, even if those neighbors be our foes. Friendship prepares us for a, for, for a love beyond our friendship. So I, I am so happy when I find out in the right hand of Mohor uh, about this, about love your friend and also love your enemy. So actually in the writing of Mohor, Agape of fraternal life is an extension of friendship. Because there is no contradiction between friendship and fraternal life of uh, agape, we can live it out it in the community life. That is why when Montfort say, love your friend, and then he say, friendship, this is only in speech, is a ridiculous decoration. And when he said, love your enemy, then he continues to say, that your love may extend to everyone. And here we have a model how to live out friendship in the community life. I ask you to see a little bit about this, how Jesus built his friendship in his life or in his ministry. You see here, the first one, he grants a special power to John, this disciple whom he loved. And then, he grants special power to the three, Peter, John, and James. And then continue, he has 12 disciples and he calls them friends. And outside of these 12 disciples, he also has other friends, Martha, Mary, 
and Mary, Mary of Magdala. So in the writing of Montfort, if you see in the writing of Montfort, he says Jesus is the owner, Jesus is the initiator and the model of community religion. So if our model is like here, like this, he builds friendship like this. So we also should follow the same thing. It is what I want to say. Because he is a model. If our model is like this, he builds friendship like this, we also should follow the same thing. Last definition, friendship is seen as a giving and sharing divine life. It is from living our fraternity, as I mentioned before slide, that people can share divine life. It can refer to what Simon for said, that God needs the friendship of man to be happy. It doesn't mean that God lacks happiness, but instead to show that God is the source of happiness and he wants to share this happiness with human beings through friendship. And his happiness is when a human being remains in friendship with him as a source of happiness. And the, when you share and giving divine, it is based on God's goodwill. And also it is expressed by bearing one another's fault. You can see in the, in the OR, meaning the role of the, the priest missionary, uh, of the pre-missionary priest of the company of Mary. You can see it there. So until now, until here, my brothers and sisters, we already see what the definition of friendship that I find out in the writings of Popo. But the question is now, how does the monk Saint Montfort understanding about friendship affect his spiritual life and his living, uh, his living of friendship? Because why? According to me, the way the way we think affects the way we live. The way Saint Montfort understanding about friendship affects the way how he lives out friendship in his life. So now I already find out. How the way he understanding friendship affect his life, his uh, his life affect how he build our friendship in his life. I find out five. I uh, find out five points. First one, the way he understand friendship affect his contemplative uh, contemplative prayer. Second one, the way he understanding friendship affect his openness to others and to all realities. The third one, the way he understand uh, friendship. It helps him to get a deeper insight. The, last, uh, the fourth one, the way he understands friendship affects the way he treats others as co-equals. Co and the last one, the way he understands friendship affects the way how in terms of doing good things for others. Let us see one by one. Affects his contemplative prayer. In his contemplative prayer, Montfort say God is a friend and others is God's friend. Therefore, in his, in, in his contemplation, he prays to possess God as of his friend. But in the same time, he prays for his friends so that he remains in friendship with him. This is why if you read the letter of Saint Montfort to Marie Louise, uh, letter number 34, I write that, you can find it. And you can see the simple diagram I make there, friend, more for Marilu Sega, you see? In his contemplation, for him, God is a friend. And the others, represented by Marilu Sega here, is a friend, a God's friend. So in his prayer, he wants to possess God. But in the same time, he pray for his friend, Mary, in this context, Marilu Sega. Not only that, he also proclaims that Jesus is your faithful friend to all people. So the way he understands friendship affects his contemplative prayer. Second one, the way he understands friendship affects his opponent to others and to all realities. Because the other is God's friend, as I mentioned in the previous slide, he tries to be a friend with an open-minded person and humble person. If you read in the history, the life of Montfort, uh, the, 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 the history, 
of the life of Semaphore, you can find out that he has a lot of difficulties in his relationship, relationship his spiritual director. But in, he still values his friendship with him. It can be proved by two letters, letter number five and letter number six. And Mary, uh, if you read the book of Mary, Dead to Response, he says, spiritual friends inspire us to move beyond pettiness to a place where our hearts and minds are focused on doing what is right. The third one, that the way Mofer understands friendship, it helps him to gain a deeper insight. So from this openness, if I mentioned in previous slide, he gains a deeper insight that in friendship, one should avoid bad friendship. First, friend of, friend of Venus means friends of pleasure. The pleasure is the goal of bad friendship. Friends of life means friend of friends who doesn't tell the truth. Friend of the world means it is a call uh, in friendship, one lacks of love and sympathy. They will even persecute others to fulfill their own pleasure. For the way a mofa understands friendship, it helps him to treat others as co equal His deeper understanding of friendship, as I mentioned in the previous slide, has led a mofa to treat others co equal as Jesus treats his friends co-equal, I don't call you servant, but friend. Likewise, Mofo does the same thing, even those who misunderstood him. He calls poor people as his best friends, and he treats them equally. Why Mofo can do this? I, there are two reasons. First, because he is not a discriminative person. You can see in, the, in his letter, Number 33. And the second one, because his friendship is not based on personal honor and self-interest. You can read it in the, his letter, number 10. And the, the third one, because he trusts that God can change the heart of his people. You can read in the letter, it's in letter number 10. So the friendship of Montfort with his friend based, not based on personal honor or self-interest, and there is no discrimination in friendship can be compared with the friendship between Jonathan and David. As you know, Nathan and David come from different tribes. They are, but they are a good friend. And Jonathan, son of a king Saul, doesn't look for his personal honor when he, he surrenders the throne for his friend David, who is chosen by God to be the future king of Israel. Even he encouraged David to be king of over Israel and says, and says, I will be next to you. Can you imagine, my brothers and sisters? I don't know how, about your feeling when you read this, but for me, it's very interesting. Jonathan and David come from different tribes, let's say different ethnic, and Jonathan is self sons of King Saul, but he doesn't look for his personal honor when when he surrendered the throne for his friend David, even he support David. It's, this is very interesting, very meaningful friendship. And the last one, the way Montfort understands friendship affects the way how he is doing good for others. When friendship is not intended to look personal interest and honor, as I mentioned in previous slide, Friendship is always said by Simon Ford as a moment to do good for others. It is so by Montfort in his friendship with Bishop Gira. In their friendship, Bishop Gira acts like a father. And from Montfort's side, he is happy to work with Bishop Gira for the sake of the poor. So you see here, these two men exemplify for us a beautiful friendship. One shows his fatherhood love, and the other shows his happiness to work with him for the sake of the poor. So their love to the poor ties them into friendship. We can say genuine friendship here, the centers people to redirect their attention away from themselves to another. The second example for this is when Montfort, uh, when Montfort goes to Paris. 
Intention breeds. Intention breeds more for enter into relationship with others by embracing their life. It is symbolized by exchanging his own clothes. You know well the story about this with, he, with the clothes of the beggar. So when he wears the clothes of the beggar, actually it is a sign of say Montfort's act of welcoming their existence. Because why? Clothes is not simply a garment, but it also symbolizes the real story of his best friend. So for Montfort, someone cannot do something good for their friends if he or she doesn't want to embrace their story of life. So actually, the journey of Montfort from René to Paris actually is a journey of friendship. So my brother and sister, until now we already talked about how we reflect, uh, reflect about friendship of Saint Montfort and how his understanding, he, uh, the way he understands friendship affects his, uh, affects his life. Uh, the way he built friendship in his life. So now we move to the third level, the third uh, step of this presentation is responses, some responses. We already see the experience. We already not the, uh, see reflection. So the question is what we, will we do? Yeah. We have to take some response. The question is, how can the friendship of spirituality that we already discussed be a living reality among Montfort and family? So this is the main question here. How can the friendship spirituality of Saint Montfort we already discussed be a living reality among Montfort and families? At least I have three answers. First, friendship spirituality of Montfort can be a living image when more for son families live as friends of God. Second, when more for son family live as friends of each other. Third one, when more for son family live as images of God's friendship to all people. Let us see one by one. We are called to live as friends of God, but how? At least in the, the, in the first step, at least in how we live out it in our contemplative prayer. In our contemplative prayer, we have to picture God as a friend and the other as God's friend. The clearer, the, the clearer their image of God as friend, the clearer also the impact on their friendship with God and others. But what is prayer? For me, prayer is a desiring God. Montfort, as God has desired, as Montfort said in writing, God has decided to be friend of human being. They also, Montfort and family must have the same desire. Christopher Kisling say, in prayer, we go to friends, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But it is not it not. Prayer also must be, it can be understood as a knowing God. Through contemplation, we or Montfort and family deepen their knowledge about God as a friend and others as God's friend. But it is also it's not enough. We have to understand also prayer as a loving God, meaning knowing God as friend leads them to love God as friend and love others as God's friend. So this, this is the first answer. Second one, sp friendship spirituality of Montfort can be a living image when Montfort's son families live as friends of each other. But the question, by, by what? First, by patient to know and to love each other. From there, by patient acknowledgement of friendship as a journey to conversion and openness. From there, by acceptance of friendship as an instrument to care and support each other in vocation. And from there, by living our fraternal friendship. And from there, by practicing friendship as a source of communion and collaboration. Let us see one by one. 
person to know and to love each other. Moreover, say the congregation that he has, it belongs to him since in the beginning. So it means that it is God Himself who chooses them, or who chooses who chooses uh, Moforsan families to be with each other. So it is not Moforsan families to choose to be with each other, but God chooses them from different backgrounds to be each other. Because why? Because this Moforsan family or Moforsan congregation belongs to Him since in the beginning. But because it calls to choose us from different backgrounds, so it is relevant and urgent to, for us to know and to love each other. The same idea I find out in the writing of Fiona Lin, he says, where there is no learning, friendship becomes sterile and dead. Yeah. Second one, by adolescent of friendship as a journey to conversion and openness. From passion to know and to love each other, as I mentioned in previous slide here, we of more person families will acknowledge friendship as a journey to conversion and openness. Because what? Because when friendship grows, the likeness and the difference between friends will increase as well. Yeah. We can see in the experience of Monfort with his fellow seminarian at that time. The, his fellow seminarian as uh, superior of the community, please tell Professor Monfort, don't turn recreation into meditation. And Monfort listened to his superior. And this is the way how Monfort deal with his fellow seminarian or with his friends in the community. There is no animosity there. Because according to Monfort, animosity turns to poison and all, uh, all the springs of Third, by acceptance of friendship as instrument to care and support each other in vocation. Their conversion and openness here, I mentioned here, will lead them to accept friendship as an instrument to care and support each other. It means friendship for Monforsan family is intended to bring goodness for others. In this case, the vocation of Sarah. It is like the friendship between Saint Montfort and Marie Louise. I really like to read this letter when I reflect or when do my research about friendship. If you read the writing of Montfort in letter 34, you see, you can read this letter. I think of you always. I am united with you in bearing the cross along as you follow the holy will of God and not your own. In this holy will, I am all yours. I think of you always, and I am all yours, can be understood as a total sacrifice and more in caring and support of his friend, Marie Louise, in her vocation. And this conclusion can be supported by another letter of Saint Montfort to Marie Louise. He wrote, do not lose your patience in my absence. You are always in my thoughts. So for me, caring and supporting each other in friendship, F. Montfort and Mary Louise, one heart and one soul. I think as a more person family, we can also practice this kind of friendship. Caring and supporting each other, support each other. And these kinds of friendship between Montfort and Mary Louise, we can compare it with the friendship between Naomi and Ruth. You know, maybe some of you do not know the story between Naomi and Ruth, but I write there, you can read it later in my PowerPoint. It says, when Naomi's husband, Elimelech, and her sons died, Naomi urged Ruth, daughter, uh, or, uh, Naomi urged Ruth to return to their family. But Ruth decided to stay with Naomi. And Ruth said, where you die, I will die. And there I will be buried. So my, my brothers and sisters here, Ruth and Naomi actually come from different ethnic. But you can see, you can feel here how Ruth built her friendship with Naomi. He said, where you die, I will die. And there I will be buried. 
So this is a story about caring a supporter is uh, supporting each other in friendship, although Ruth and Naomi has different ethnics. Different ethnics for Naomi and Dor is not obstacle in their friendship when their friendship is filled by caring and support each other, especially in the critical moment. So if we build this kind of friendship, we can say like this to each other, my friend, I do not want you to perish. Look, I am your friend, I am all good. We can say like this, if in our friendship, we show our caring and support in each other. For by living out fraternal friendship, caring and support each other in vocation here that I mentioned you here, uh, can be expressed by living out fraternal friendship. And we already, I already tell you in previous slide, that for Montfort, there is no contradiction between friendship in fraternity or agape. So, but, and this idea, the ideas of Montfort about friendship and fraternal life can be supported by Lumen Gentium uh, number 48 and our constitution, the SMM constitution number 111. In Lumen Gentium, we say, the more the members of religious community are bound to one another by bonds of deep friendship and love, the more that community embodies the reality of the church as the sacrament of salvation. And in our constitution, it, in our constitution, it says our witness will be there for all to see if it expresses the joy and friendship live out in our communities. So friendship in the community will teach you, Montfort and families, to share divine life as friendship of Jesus who share the life of Father. Second, to teach, to exist for one another as wisdom is for them and man is for wisdom. And to open to one another as Jesus shares what he heard from his father to his disciple, which is called friend. So if you believe our friendship in the community life, that friendship will teach you these things to share, to exist, and to open to one another. Last one, by practicing friendship, as a source of communion and collaboration. This part I really like to discuss. Mm. Fraternal friendship, this one, huh, can be a source of communion and collaboration in mission, since their friendship is set in the context of mission. Friendship is for mission. If you read in the writing of Montfort about this, it's very meaningful, it's very interesting. What I want to say here is, Practicing friendship as a, as a source of communion and collaboration in mission is, is needed by Montfort and families nowadays. Because to proclaim the kingdom of God according to Montfort is like going to battlefield. So make sure we are friends of Jesus and of each other who became soldiers in the battle of P, battlefield to proclaim the kingdom of God. That is why Montfort says, friends of God, let us unite because in unity, there is strength. And for these kinds of friendship, we can see in the friendship of Montfort uh, with Marie Louise. Their friendship or friendship between Montfort and Marie Louise brings two of them into collaboration in mission. Say so Montfort writes, I will send you this is very interesting. I will send you some money and horse to accompany you. Travel as best you can. Take a coach or hire a horse. If you have no money, I will try to cover the cost for you. If at that time Montfort already has car, maybe he says, I will send you some money and cash to accompany you. Maybe, I don't know. But in that time, Montfort just have a horse and money. So he says like that to Marilis. So what we see here, the principle between Montfort and Marilis is set into a mission. Friendship is for mission. And it is a source of collaboration and communion. 
And so, my brother and sister, this is the last part of this term. Francis' spirituality of Saint Montfort can be a living image, a living reality, when Montfort's and family live as made images of Dutch friendship to all people. But by what? First, by self-disclosure. It is mediated by willingness to know others. The history of our country, it is very important. This, the, the, the ideology of our country. Yeah. There is no self-disclosure without willingness to know others. And it is a loving knowledge, meaning to know in order to love. Hence, we are ready to open ourselves to others, to build ecumenism and dialogue with other religions and other cultures. And from self-disclosure, we move, we can treat others as co-equal. They are led to treat others co-equal. It is expressed by avoiding tendency to control others and by being judgmental person. They respect and appreciate others as they are. They just look at action of others from the eyes of God. Those manners can be applied by more force in building cross-cultural friendship in society and community interreligious friends. That is why Montfort say, one has to have mutual love for one another because love is perfection of all religions. And by treating others equal, we can do good things for others. So it is from treating others equal, they can do good things for others. It is based on Saint Montfort's understanding that the, they are Jesus' intimate friends. So you do good for others because According to Montfort, the others is the Jesus intimate friends. By doing this, Montfort's and families will show Jesus Christ is the compassionate friend. When we do all these things, this will fulfill. First, for Indonesia, fulfill the expectation of KVI or Bishop Conference of Indonesia, who says, leave our friendships among the people who come from different backgrounds especially the poor. And so for all Montfort family everywhere, this will fulfill the message of Saint Montfort who says they are sent to preach the gospel, not to baptize. So this is the conclusion of my presentation. First, the fact that the diverse context of our life has colored the life of all Montfort and families itself. At the same time, the very context brings a number of challenges and problems of friendship among Montfortian, both in their community and missionary life. So, a reflection of Saint Montfort Francis spirituality shows the ways to solve these problems: being friends of God, being friends of each other, and being living images of God's friends to all people. Because why? Because according to Alfred of Rifu, God is friendship. And God who has a friendship has decided to build friendship with human beings, according to Montfort. So now, let us have the same desire to be friend of God, to be friend of each other, and to be the living image of God's friendship to all peoples. It's from me. Because what? Because God has given us the ability to mirror him and it is in friendship that this happens best, according to Carmen Calta Chinoni. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you yeah. so much. Thank you so much for the presentation that uh, gives us a different uh, insight and different um, understanding, okay? different understanding of, of friendship, especially looking into um, the biblical sense, the Christian way of friendship, and eventually as a whole, as more portion in, uh, in the world, yeah? the friendship of we have, so um, thank you so much again for that.
And um, I open it to the floor if there's anybody, uh, any person that would like to have some clarification or any, anyone would like to ask further to Father Eddie uh, in regard of his presentation just now. I open it to you. Yeah? Uh, thank you, uh, Brother Thomas. I have uh, a question, but uh, yes. perhaps, uh, yeah. first of all, Father Eddie, you can uh, exit from the screen, perhaps, so can uh, Exit from the screen, yeah. You mean uh, my, uh, my PowerPoint? Oh, my power, your PowerPoint, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, exit from that. Okay, Ready? thank Good. you. Okay. Okay, thank, thank you, you. Father Eddie. Yeah. I think uh, reading the spiritual teachings of um, Montfort from the perspective of a friendship is really new. I have uh, read a lot of uh, articles of Montfort, even our Montfort dictionary, we cannot find in uh, these documents any article about friendship. Yeah, so this is new. Thank you, Father Eddie, for this uh, very encouraging and interesting research. Thank you, Father Arno. Yeah, this is new, really new. This is uh, really new in our uh, Manfosan uh, spirituality. I hope this can be transformed in an article so that it can be shared with a larger group, published in our international uh, magazine or international uh, journal. It is a Spiritualita Monfortana. It is the name of our official uh, journal, uh, scientific journal here. So it can be tasted by a larger group. But first of all, I'm waiting for your PowerPoint uh, presentation, <laughs> Father Heredy, to be yeah. forwarded to the participants of uh, this uh, monthly formation. I will, I will, Father Arno. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah at the beginning uh, of your presentation, you have uh, shown the actuality of uh, this friendship point of view. Uh, very beautiful. Then uh, you saw also in your uh, presentation how this friendship uh, spirituality affects Montfort's whole being. Uh, uh, in the friendship, uh, I think there are closeness and respect with our friends at the same time. So closeness, intimacy, and then respect. So there is a combination there between respect and intimacy. And there is a kind of uh, equality as you have uh, underlined. Now I have uh, this question. First of all, in uh, relation to God, my question is, in what ways we are equal to God? And how can we know ourselves as friends of God? You have uh, cited Monfort's uh, statement saying that wisdom is for men. Okay, we agree with that. But man is for wisdom. Now, there is a tendency of um, uh, how to say... Uh, separating men from God. God doesn't want to separate himself uh, from men, but men uh, wants to, men wants to separate other uh, men uh, uh, from God. So how can we know ourselves as friends of God? Of God? This is the first question. Now the second question is, in social relations, 
the question is how are uh, what are the challenges we experience on a personal level to live out this friendship spirituality in our society which is marked by different social and economic structures Monfort lived in the period of um, uh, how to say uh, 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 feudal and also uh, monarchic society, feudalistic and monarchic. But Monfort was able to overcome these uh, social structures, calling the poor his friends. So instead of going up, going up, going up, Monfort went down, 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 lowering himself until the point of calling the poor his friends. It was not easy because Monfort was from this uh, uh, bourgeoisie family. The tendency was continuing going up to enter in the nobility, but instead of going up, Monfort was going down. So how, what are the challenges on the personal level, I mean, to live this friendship spirituality? Because our society, our economic society also are marked by these structures. Terima kasih. Okay. Thank you, Father Arnold, for your appreciation. Uh, and also thank you for uh, your question. For me, it's a uh, good question, but also it's not easy to, to answer. But I will try. The first question, how to measure our friendship with God? As I mentioned in my PowerPoint, the first category to measure is through your contemplative prayer. In your contemplative prayer, like what Monfort does, you have to picture God, that God is our friend and the others is God's friends. If you, if you already in your mind, this perception in your contemplative prayer, that God is our friend, my friend, God is our friend, and the other is God's friend, the second step of, it, of this is, you have to try to possess it. To possess God as my friend, and in the same time, you also pray from your friend because you already picture in your mind, in your contemplative, in the first level, to picture God as your friend. Hmm. After that, when you already picture God as a friend and other as a God's friend, and you possess it, in the same times you are called to love God as your friend and the other to love other as your as a God's friend. And from there, from there, you proclaim to others, hey friend, I am your good friend. I am I am your friend and I am all good. But before you tell like that to proclaim God, look, God is a friend. And look also at me. I am your friend and I am all good. You can do this if in the first level. From your contemplative prayer, in your contemplation, you have to picture God as your friend. I think this is the simple way how to measure your friendship with God. Okay. It is the first question. The second, the second question is uh, personal challenges when we build our friendship, especially our friendship with others. I think I can answer this from some points that I mentioned in my PowerPoint. I say that, that when more for Bill friendship, example, his friendship with Marie Louise or with Bishop Girard or, be, or uh, his spiritual director, director uh, Le Chassier, he built his friendship with those people is not based on his personal interests is not based on his personal honor. It's not based on uh, what I, I said, they mentioned already. 
he is not a discriminative person. So if, he, if this, this kind of uh, characteristic sometimes challenges us in our friendship. So for me, personal interest, personal uh, honor, and discrimination can be uh, challenges and personal level how to build friendship with others. If we don't or if we don't have all these things, it means that we walk in the friendship of Mopo. According to me, uh, it's like that. Yeah. How to measure friendship in personal life. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Thomas. Mm. Thank you. I hope that had uh, given a little insight um, of the questions there. Uh, th this one here, Father Eddie, uh, from Milo Casals, uh, he, uh, he said that I would be interested to hear about the experiences on friendship with our brother Muslims. Uh, would you be kind to share a little bit with that? Thank you. Yeah, uh, I want to answer that question from the experience of Indonesia in terms of our uh, our relationship with our, uh, our uh, uh, what is that, uh, government or state, something like that. As I mentioned in my PowerPoint, actually we had three, three elements to form friendship among Indonesia. The first one is sense of nationalism. What is a big uh, sense of, what is the sense of nationalism? Uh, nationalism? If we find out in, in youth place, it says that we are uh, one motherland, Indonesia. We are one nation, Indonesia. We are uh, 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 knowledge, uh, language, different languages, uh, something like that. And the second element is like uh, uh, friendship across culture. In our national method, we say uh, bineka tunggalika, which means unity in diversity. And also, the third element, the form of friendship as Indonesian is uh, in our constitution, it says that you can choose and then you can express your uh, faith uh, freely. But as I mentioned, it's my PowerPoint, <clears throat> my brothers and sisters, in some places, we really live out this experience, this friendship, not only among us as Christian as Indonesia, but our relationship with uh, Muslim. But as you know, I think the same experience in your place, in other places in this world, sometimes there is some groups, fanatics groups, something like that. They are not big or big, uh, big numbers, but they are very, uh, what is that, uh, very few, but still in some way, they cannot live out this, uh, these kinds of uh, element. So actually, uh, as a principle, we have some elements, but in reality, not all in, uh, in, uh, in some part of Indonesia, uh, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh, meaning to say, we face a lot of difficulties in some places in Indonesia. Yeah. But in, in some places, we have a beautiful relationship between Christian and also uh, Muslims. Thank you, uh, Brother Thomas. Yeah. Thank you. I hope uh, that had uh, answered uh, a little bit of what, what Milo posted here. Indeed, as uh, for me, I believe that when we talk about friendship, it is two ways. Yeah, It is not one way, just like communication, uh, two ways. So there is no one way uh, friendship, but uh, always two ways. Yeah. And anyone else from the floor that uh, would like to ask uh, Father Eddie? Okay. Uh, Father Eddie. Okay. The Father Provincial, yep. <laughs> Father Anton. Uh, yes, Father Anton. Yeah. Unmute yourself first. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Father Eddie. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, good afternoon, so this, is, this, uh, this team is very interesting. And it's really, uh, we, we, I think we all need this one. In all our community, we, we really have to be to build up this friendship. <laughs> and we have the source of that Montfort. So it's very beautiful to know about this. Uh, my question is this, uh, Father Eddie. So as far as I, I understand that as, as, uh, 
of your presentation. The source of uh, friendship of Montfort uh, in our uh, Montfort and spirituality is uh, his friendship with God first, no? and then his friendship with others, with, with, with the church, with the missions, and, and with the poor, for every uh, friendship with everyone. Um, but I would like to, I don't, I don't know, but uh, what just come pop to my mind that uh, the, the another part for that is very important is uh, friendship uh, with, with yourself. Friendship with oneself. This is very important because uh, uh, for me, I don't know, this is my experience. If I, 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 I am, I'm not, I, I am not friend with myself, my own self. So I will be, I will be hard to, to, to be friends with God, with others, with, with anybody, with others, even, even with our Muslims, brothers. No. Uh, so I would like to listen more from you to elaborate this, this, uh, this aspect. No. Uh, how Monfort is also uh, build up, building up friendship with himself. And and I don't I don't know the relationship with, with the others uh, friendship with, with God and with the that that, that you have mentioned. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't I don't know because I I missed it out. I I, I want to uh, hear more for uh, for, uh, for this mm -hmm. uh, aspect. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's it. Thank you. Yeah. But, but Paul, uh, hmm. uh, okay. Father Anton, I think what you say is true because in my presentation, I do not mention. Uh, I mean, sir, clearly about this, but uh, intrinsically, you uh, we can find out it when I talk about uh, how the way Montfort understand his friendship affect his life in the contemplative prayer. So, in the contemplative prayer, is a moment how Montfort see God as a friend and he sees other as God's friend. So I, th I think in terms of your question, may maybe this is the way how Montfort build his friendship with himself. So to know, to, uh, to build your uh, friendship with yourself, you, you have to, to see for your relationship with God. As I mentioned in, the, in, the, in my PowerPoint, the more clear, you understand about God as a friend, the more impact in yourself to build your friendship with, with others. So uh, to answer your question, I think I have to, uh, to mention clearly about that, but, but intrinsically, I already, we can put it, the kind of friendship in terms of uh, contemplative prayer. That is my my answer. But actually, your question is a good question. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, 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 I hope we had uh, answered a little bit. Yeah. So, anyone else? Uh? Brother Thomas. Uh, oh yes, like yes. Jo Brother John. Yes. Uh, firstly, my thanks to Father Harry D. Terima hey, kasih, Pak. <laughs> yeah, it was a very good yeah, presentation. Nice to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'm struck by the uh, questions or concerns uh, which our Father Arnold raised and even Father Anton. I think um, we need self-liberation from God's grace. Somehow God, the initiator, has to initiate our self-worth, the self-beauty of our life, according to his uh, plan, you know, the way he created us, creating us to his image and likeness. Somehow, uh, wisdom need to enlighten us about this goodness of ourself. And this is what Montfort says, the knowledge of self. Not only the knowledge of self as a sinner, but the knowledge of God's love towards me, a sinner. And this whole compassion of God will melt us and liberate us. Once we are liberated within the love of God, everything else will fall in place. So I am always amazed with Montfort's uh, subject of laboros. So we cannot be truly friendly unless I'm liberated. 
So Montfort desires this liberos very much. So a liberated Montfortian will become a liberating Montfortian in his collaborative work, in his communion, in his community. Everything will change because the change is affected by God himself. So I want to congratulate you for this presentation because it's giving a lot of opening for us to further contemplate the presentation. I think as community, as Father Anton rightly shared, that we need to bring it back to our own community and raise all those uh, questions within ourselves. And I think uh, it is a good gift as we even uh, celebrate the 350 years anniversary of uh, Good Father Montfort's birthday. It's a very special gift for, for his birthday. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. John, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Anyone else that would like to um, have your insight or to share a little bit or to ask uh, questions? Father Eddie, anyone else? Ready? Okay. Yeah. yeah. You may you may say, uh, what is it? Father, uh, oh, Father Fidel. Fidel. Okay. Well, Father Fidel. Well, okay, Father Fidel. Okay. okay. Uh, Father Eddie, many thanks. Uh, it, is, it was a very beautiful presentation. Well done. And uh, as you know, Father Eddie is uh, my classmate. We were together for a long, long years before. <laughs> and now he really uh, saw us a beautiful presentation, a beautiful uh, new insight as mentioned before by Father Anor and even underlined by Father Anton. <clears throat> uh, by the way, uh, I want to say like this, how can we leave out this friendship, spirituality in our life, in our society, uh, especially in our Montfortian family? According to me, sometimes really challenging us. In a simple way, for instance, for instance, in a school, in school, making friends can be as simple as going on the monkey bars together. But as adults, making, developing, and maintaining friendships can be much, much more difficult. I would like to say like this, good friends say, and do things that make you feel good. Giving compliments to each other and congratulations is really, really we need in our life, in our society, in our uh, family as a Montfortian family. And being happy for you, being a happy man in our life, in our duty. And the one thing that I, I would like to underline as uh, Father Eddie uh, after mentioned before, good friends support each other. Because as you said before that, uh, Montfort underlines that he is a friend of God, a friend of God. So, According to me, we are trying to become a good friend for God, for myself, and for each other. Uh, I think it is very, very enough. And we, we try because we are struggling to make a good friendship in our life, in our family as a man. Thank you very much, Father Eddie, and thank you. Thank you, Father Fidel. Yeah. So, Father Eddie, uh, any response from that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what you say is true, Father Fidel. Uh, it's not easy to build friendships in uh, our lives today, not only in the community life, but also in in uh, society, because. As I mentioned in my presentation, God 
gathers us from everywhere. We do not choose to lead to whom we, you live like that. But what I I'm presenting to you today is some uh, uh, like uh, uh, some ideas, some points that can help us, especially for myself, to build friendship with those people, even I face a lot of difficulties. As you mentioned in your comments, yeah, like what Montfort does in his life, Francis should become uh, an instrument for us to support and also to care to his heart. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Father Eddie. Uh, I would like to, have, before we go any further, I would like to check with uh, Father Ray. How much more time do you have, Father? Father Ray? Um, if you want to, to allow more questions, maybe one or two. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, uh, someone Brand. is raising hand. Two persons are raising their hands. Okay, now. good. Yeah. Then, two ladies. Okay, Sister Jacqueline, uh, please go first. Uh, then later on, we go to Sister Mary. Okay, Sister Jacqueline. Yes, uh, I want to thank Father Heredy to, for this beautiful uh, conference exposition of uh, uh, a subject that is not easy to uh, present and uh, you have done a wonderful job of it. I would just like to, a true friend is one who will allow the other one to be himself or herself. And so if I'm a myself, to be able to be who I am, who I am called to be, and it, it, it's, like you mentioned, the respect for the other one to be, and for myself also to be. And together we can work uh, for the good of others and uh, we can grow in our relationship with God and our relationship with the others. So thank you very much for all that you have brought to us this morning. Thanks. Thank you, Sajakli. Thank, Thank you so much. Uh, okay, over to uh, Mary and anything, Mary. Uh, unmute yourself first, Mary. Hello. Ah, uh, yes. Hello, sister. <laughs> yes, I hope you can hear me all. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, can. yeah. I, I can. Yes, I can. Sister. We can hear. Mm -hmm. We can see you. Good afternoon you. to you Good afternoon. and happy belated feast day of uh, Father Montfort. I would like to thank you, Father, for your presentation. It was really good. And uh, indeed, we have to strengthen our friendship, even when it is not easy to strengthen that relationship, the bond. That bond is not easy. We only need the grace of God to help us in our daily lives because we are meeting different challenges. We are facing different challenges here and there. In this world that we are in right now, it's really complicated. But uh, we pray for that grace that we shouldn't lose the sense of being human. Because if we lose it, that is when we go astray. So we just have to pray for that grace. And secondly, I would like to put my request, and I think I put this request some time back, which was last year, that we would like to have such presentations, such meetings in, in East Africa, here in Uganda. We do not have such meetings here. We are associates in Uganda. We do not know each other. We do not have such presentations, even if it's uh, because this is uh, 
this is where it is right now for us. We can't have it in East Africa, neither in Africa. I haven't heard about it. The last time I think I attended was the one of uh, Madagascar. And I remember you promised that you're going to talk to Father Arnold. I don't know if he has responded to this because we are really missing out as the lay associates of East Africa, of Africa, of Uganda, to be specific. I'm just talking on behalf of them because I'm, I'm their secretary for now. I'm the secretary here in Uganda. So I'm, I'm just putting in uh, our request. Thank you so much. Thank you, Steph. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you Steph. Thank you. It's a valid request. Yeah. It's a valid request. Thank you very much. So um, we thank you so much uh, for your actions, interactions, and everything. So we are going to uh, to the end of this. Um, I would like to say thank you to each and every person that come to this evening or morning or afternoon, depending of wherever you are. Thank you for the host, hosting ground, uh, Father Ray. Uh, thank you, um, Father Eddie, for a wonderful insight. In fact, during the Brothers Annual Retreat last year, this is one of the topics that uh, left me uh, in awe, yeah, that this entirely a new thing that uh, given a deeper insight of um, spirituality in friendship, yeah, friendship spirituality. Is, it's an amazing thing that um, that I never thought before. So thank you so much again, um, Father Eddie. So before we close, may I invite uh, Sister Leah, our associates, uh, Queen of All Hearts, as you see, it's from Bandung. Um, may I invite Sister Leah to lead us in closing prayer, please. Thank you, Brother Thomas. Uh, dear my brothers and sisters, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time we have been given for gather together. We ask that your Holy Spirit will be with us to guide our thoughts and words, to be your hands and feet as we continue to share your love and true friendship with everyone that we encounter, our families, friends, and colleagues, and the people in need of press and lonely. We would end this meeting by asking prayers from our mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, Christ the Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed are those Lord. among women, and blessed, and blessed is, is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. We ask your blessing to Father Arnold. Please, Father Arnold. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Amen. Almighty God and bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So thank you, everyone. We'll see you again next month, uh, first uh, Wednesday of next thank month. You. All right. Yeah. So have a good day. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank See you again. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. 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 Okay. Thank you. Okay, God bless. Okay, okay, good night. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank Terima kasih, Eddie. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, yo, sama -sama no. Okay. Thank you. Good job. Bye. 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 Thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, thank you. Hello. 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 Are you in Uganda, in Barara? No, yeah. I'm in Kampala. Yeah.
Kan pala. Ricardo. Ricardo. Thank you. Thank you. Richard. Richard. Oh. PNG. Oh, Call your face. Respond to the ano, question. Pada ano, yes, we are waiting for you. <laughs> Pada ano, please. Jealous, Jealous communication. communication. Thank you. Thank you for the question, Mary. So I will discuss with Father Jailos. <laughs> with Father Felix, yeah? Father okay. Felix, yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. I'll thank be you, waiting. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Now, okay. okay. Good night. Come again, see. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to share. Bye. 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 Ya, ya, ya. Thanks, thanks. Thank you, terima kasih. Pada sama. Ya. Terano, sampai ketemu. Iya. Yeah. <laughs> Ray, thank you, Kuya. Thank you. <laughs> See you, Father Jelas. Thank you for the Echo Montana. See Echo. <laughs> ya, yeah, Echo. With Rodrigo here. Wow, wow, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank But you so much. Finishing editing some of the... Uh -huh. Wow, wow. Rodri. Well done, Rodri. Come again, see. <laughs> Please share the link with the friends in Kampala, yeah? Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. Okay. Father Jai, okay. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Father Rinaldo. Okay, Father Anton. Father Anton. Hey, kindly check.